0.95 lagging and 5% above rated value, rated voltage. And your fault occurred at bar 1. Okay. So, Cari nampak AF, Madam. Cari nampak AF baru. Okay, so kita selesai again kita sampai cari ni lah kita buat uh, reactions diagram and then we calculate the ZPH and then we know the I4 sampai sini eh 9.079 okay right now The second question ini eh ini dah saya rasa yang baru tutorial tadi pun tak ada masalah lah saya rasa dah okay dah yang yang G1A tu uh, try boleh recap slow slow right so the second question is using the current div di division method okay and then you need to find the sub transient generator and motor current neglecting okay the, the neglect prefold current uh, so maksudnya Uh, kalau you tengok soalan tutorial Okay uh, Dia sebenarnya yang ni Yang nombor tiga ni So determine the contribution To the fault from generator 1 And line 1, 2 So Ayat dia sini contribution Okay, uh, terms dia contribution Apa maksud dia? Apa yang contribute to the fault? So if you see here kan, you see from this diagram, so your I4 is flowing from bus 1. So when you point here adalah bus 1, from bus 1 to ground. Okay, and then kalau you boleh nampak kat sini, honey, from bus 1 to ground, that's your fault current. So what are the currents that contribute to the fault? Which is coming from the generator and one more current coming from the motor. Generator current plus gen uh, motor current will be equal to I4. Turn. Okay, sini. Ford. So, kenapa so, kenapa saya kata daripada sini pula? So, in normal condition, kalau you imagine normal condition, tak ada Ford ni. Okay, tak ada Ford. Your current will flow from the generator to motor. Okay, that will be the normal condition, no fault at all. But then, if you have a fault at bus 1 here, so the current will flow, all the current in the circuit will try to go to the fastest route to the ground. Okay, fastest route dia adalah kat sini lah. Ke sini ke ground Sebab sini dia tak ada impedance langsung Kan Kalau ada impedance tu kan ada Impedance sebenarnya pun macam halangan kan So there's no impedance at all So dia akan pergi sini ke sini lah So that's why semua current ni Akan pergi ke sini So instead of uh, Flowing from the left to the right Now all the current will flow From the right to the left To the point of the fourth thing Okay So that's why kalau yang inilah Yang ini you total up everything You akan dapat 505 ni 0.505 So that here you can see that The fault that contribute to the current Will be the generator current Okay yang masuk ke sini Dan juga fault current 
Okay, Angel duduk sini Okay, Karen kat sini uh, uh, Okay, and this one Okay, dan yang ni pergi masuk ke bawah ni lah So, kalau you buat uh, KCL kat situ IG plus IM equal to IF Okay, now Macam ni lah sebenarnya Okay So that dia nak cari Dia uh, dia, dia cuma kata cari generator current And juga motor current So you guna je K apa K uh, okay, KCL Current divider Okay So nak cari IG If you want to find the IG here You akan ambil The impedance The opposite impedance Divide by Opposite impedance Divide by Total impedance Okay 0.05 plus 0.15 Times the I source Which is the I fault Dah cari dah Ni Sebelum ni Okay Nak cari IG Remember you want to find IG You need to get the Opposite reactance Okay, uh, 0.505 divided by the total reactant and then darab dengan I source dia which is I fault. Then, kalau nak cari I am, you dapat lah ni. Kan, okay. kita dapat minus 7 here for IG. And then, if you want to find the I am, I am here. So, the opposite uh, reactance dia adalah 0.15 Sebab tu yang atas dia 0.15 Divide by the total impedance. Uh, total impedance dia Then times the IF dia Ataupun I source dia Then you can get this one Right Kalau ni nak tahu betul ke tak You buat je IG plus IM should be sama dengan IF Okay 7 kan? Minus 7 Dengan minus 2 Minus 9 lah So your I port is actually minus 9 This one Kan Boleh eh Saya rasa kadang divide ni tak ada masalah apa pun It's not that hard Okay now That will be your uh, Uh, ayat lain dia macam ayat dekat dalam tutorial okay? Ayat dia I mean uh, Cara tanya soalan lah okay? The question may ask you like this Very direct uh, Find the subtransient generator and subtransient motor Or Like the uh, ni? Like in the tutorial Question number 3 So determine the contributions To the fourth Uh, from generator Sometimes soalan tu dia very open Determine the contribution to the fault uh, So you need to know Daripada mana Sometimes Okay Itu if we want to make it really hard lah for you Right <coughs> Soalan ketiga Okay Soalan C Okay What is the same thing What is the generator current And juga motor current But this, in this case, we consider the pre-fault current, right? Pre-fault, it means that condition before the fault happened, what was the current? Kan, current dia apa? So, current untuk pre-fault adalah ni, eh, ni, ni, tak ada fault. There's no For at all here Kalau imaging kat sini tak ada for at all And then what is the current In this system Ni Siri kan, sistem Siri je kan So you boleh cari je Di mana-mana pun for dia sama je sebenarnya Okay, bergantung dia punya apa? Dia punya VP sahaja Now For di sini and For nak berlaku di sini So then you need to find what is the pre-fault Current here lah Okay, current at bus 1 So now go to this one. Eh, come back. Okay, okay. okay. So the generator ini saya tahu. I think I think you know this already. So what is the generator base current? The I base will be 
That one lah Z, uh, S base divided by root 3 divided by V base Okay now we want to find the pre-fork current at the generator oh, At the generator Equation dia apa? Cari current the same thing Equation dia sama dengan I divide eh, I equal to S divided by root 3 times V Okay now I can see some of you might see this one Kan tiba-tiba ada VPU pula kat situ So then it's actually tak apa you abaikan je dulu equation dulu uh, Abaikan dulu VP tu tapi the general equation is actually this one I equal to S divided by root 3 VB Kan selama ni you buat equation tu kan Eh dah batang dah tak ada okay Now kenapa ada kat situ Is because soalan kata Okay the question say that it is 5% above the rated value ni 5% above the rated value <coughs> Now V base di bar 1 berapa? V at bus 1 berapa? Bukan V base sorry V at bus 1 Rating at bus 1 13.8 13.8 rating dia eh Okay rating And then if I set 5% above the 13.8 tu berapa? 14.4 berapa? 14.4 14 14 eh? 1.05 times 13.8 Okay, 14.49 Okay, now <coughs> so Nilai operating Ataupun nilai pre-fort Sebelum berlakunya fort tu The pre-fort voltage At bus 1 is 14.49 Okay macam tadi Soalan tadi kita buat tutorial tadi Dia bagi nilai sebenar berapa Tutorial tadi 5 to 5 Okay tutorial tadi uh, This one So in this tutorial dia beritahu The pre fort voltage adalah 5 to 5 Nilai sebenar dia So Kalau kita nak samakan dengan soalan uh, ni It's actually 14.49 Boleh? Faham tak? So The The pre fort voltage for this case At bus 1 is 14.41 eh 14.49 kilovolt, which is 5% above the rated voltage. Now, what happened here is actually dia cuma nak kira 14.49 lah. Yeah, okay. Dia nak tadi 5% above the sebab the pre fort, okay pre fort current you kena ambil kira V pre fort lah. Yeah, actually this one adalah V pre fort VB kali dengan VPU Ataupun you nak buat asing pun boleh You nak buat V, v pre fort equal to uh, 1.05 times 13.8 14.49 Ataupun you nak straight letak dalam ni pun boleh Tak ada masalah Okay So that the IL ni is actually The pre fort current of the Generator You akan dapatlah nilai ni Nilai 3.9 But this one is in kilo ampere Okay and then You just need to Divide by the base Right Because you nak dalam per unit So I L Divide by I base I base tadi dah kira tadi ni 4.1 And then you get this one in per unit Okay, so this is actually the pre fort current Current before berlakunya fort Di bus 1 Bila dah berlaku fort Current tu, ini kalau di bus 1 Nilai dia 0.9524 ni kan Tapi kalau masa fort, nilai dia ni Kan, different Ini during the fort, the current will be minus J9 Tapi before that fort happen The current is actually 0.95 ni sudut negatif 18 ni lah. 
Right? So now, soalan dia, dia nak find the subtension generator and motor current include the prefork current. So this one is actually you nak tengok the changes between uh, before and after the fault sebenarnya. Okay, so you nak current from the generator. So I generator which include the prefork current will be equal to I generator plus I M. Okay, I generator ni adalah I generator from the uh, contribution tadi lah. The first contribution tadi tu where you neglect the prefork tadi. And then you akan dapat negative tujuh. Okay, plus I L which is, yang tadi lah I L ni lah. Okay, the prefork current tadi. So that you akan dapat ni nilai ni lah. Okay, ni either you nak buat dalam rectangular or polar form it doesn't matter. Okay. Now, untuk motor. For motor, so I uh, I, I, I motor, the current for the motor is actually equation is sebenarnya sama. I M plus I L. Okay, sebenarnya equation dia sama. Kenapa saya kata dia, kenapa dia tolak is because the direction of the current. Uh, okay, uh, contoh macam ni. Okay, macam contoh tadi kat sini. <coughs> um, okay, you ada You ada I warna hijau eh, ni, warna hijau ni current before the fault, the current will be like this. Kan? All the current will flow from generator to the motor the green one that is IL so maknanya it, kalau kata itu positif so the current dia akan flow daripada generator to the motor before fault now condition kedua if you have a fault now fault happen here in the middle between this two ataupun bar satu tadi So, your fault now oh, badan, badan, badan. Okay, your fault now will contribute to the fault current lah. <coughs> And the current, your current now will contribute to the fault current. So, you ada I, this one is I generator I, G Okay, ni I, G Okay And this one is I I have a I am. Oh. Hmm. I am lah eh. So I am. So you can see that the direction berubah kan. So I L tadi yang warna hijau ni has the same direction like I G. So kalau ini positif, ni positif lah. Now, if you say that I am ni positif dia akan ada different direction dengan I am. Betul? Satu ke kanan, satu ke kiri. That's why you akan kata equation ni dia jadi I am sebenarnya tambah I am juga. But then I am disebabkan I am tu has different ataupun opposite direction of the I am. So dia akan jadi tolak. Okay. So dapatlah kita nilai macam ni. Right. So kita masuk uh, saya rasa ini 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 the 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 theory lah. Okay. So in this case kita ada B without the uh, prefort current and C with the prefort current contribution with the prefort current. Now kita tengok soalan yang ni. Tutorial itu ada kan? Sama, tutorial yang sama So, kita try sambung balik <coughs> Soalannya ni So, mungkin kalau saya kita recap sikit lah Okay, untuk yang lupa hari tu Ataupun yang tak datang ke Alright So, we have done this question before kan yeah. So, kita ada <coughs> Jantar 1, jantar 2 dan jantar 3 Tutorial eh mm. 
Nora.